Hi guys, this is Connie from Connie's Nails and Creative Creations. I am taking part today in a challenge called the Flower of the Month. The host is Diana of Crafty Magnolia and Annie from Indiana Jones. I'm really excited to do this. It was just a simple little um, craft that I did, but I really liked it and it showed off the purple, which I love purple so um don't forget i down in the description box will be all their links to the playlist as well as their channels so let's get to it okay guys i had forgot i don't know if i said that it was a violet and that's why i'm doing purple okay i got this little mason jar from um dollar general and i am just taking off the lid um, I'm going to be putting it back, but I want to do a technique on it. So I'm just uh, prying underneath that to get it all um, loose. And so that you can, um, so I can get to the other part. Now it was giving me a little bit of um, struggles, but I finally was able to pop that come off. Then um, I had to get off that little wire and it was hooked underneath there but first I am using my heat gun to loosen up the rest of that glue and get most of that off then I needed to get that little hanger off and it was kind of uh, stapled in there so I am just propping um, trying to pull those out and that didn't work so I just grabbed the wire and it popped those um, right out. The other two was embedded, so I just left them there. I'm gonna be working on the front of this. That was a very thick piece of uh, paper, whatever it was. So I just took my um, chalkboard paint that I made and I'm just covering um, the front of it up. Now I end up doing, I think, four coats because those, uh, the design on there was pretty bright. So I had to really work at making sure that I keep, you know, kept it completely covered. I didn't want um, you to be able to see that at all underneath there. So, and I said before um, the host's name, and I didn't quite say it right. Her name is Deanna the Crafty Magnolia. So I said a little bit wrong, so I apologize. But here I am, I did the sides. Now this is after the five coats of the paint and I'm just going to um, grab my embellishments. But first I decided to take um, Burnt Umber and just do a dry brush effect. I don't want this pure white. Um, I want it a little bit more uh, egg, um, aged, a little bit more texture showing up. So I went ahead and I just dry brushed um, this uh, burnt umber onto it. And I really liked the way I, when it got finished, the way it looked. It looked like a very old aged um, bottle or jar, I guess is a better way of saying it. Then what I'm going to grab is um, a gray that, I, or first I'm putting Mod Podge on that metal cap. Um, if you put Mod Podge on there, then the paint will stay on the um, surface of uh, the, um, the metal, so it won't chip off. So I went ahead and put the Mod Podge on, and I'm gonna use my hot, gun, hot heat gun, and I'm going to uh, dry that. Um, the Mod Podge. You don't want to get it too warm because it stays tacky. So I just did a little bit and then I let it sit for a minute and it went ahead and dried up. Now I'm grabbing the uh, the green, or not the green, the gray that I have made. I've just put uh, black and um, white into this little jar and got the color that I, that I like to use and I'm just dry brushing it on top of this metal cap because I don't want it completely 
um, I want to pick up the textures, the uh, designs on, because it's um, 3D. So I just want to pick up on that rather than um, having a complete full coverage. And I just work at this until I get it exactly the way I want it. And then I set that aside for to let it dry and um, or I grab my heat gun I can't remember actually yeah I just set it aside and now that it is all dry I grabbed it and I am going to um, they had came with little screws so I'm going to screw it back in and then I'm going to use my hot glue gun and just give it a little bit of uh, a little more strength of stain on there so um, and these screws are super tiny so they didn't go very deep that's why I went ahead and I used some hot glue on it just like it had prior so um, and I'm fighting with this little screw with my long nails and the fact that it is so small and it wasn't magnetic, so it wouldn't stick to my, uh, my screwdriver's not magnetic, so it wouldn't stick. Now I just remember, oops, I got to put that glue. So I stopped and um, went ahead and uh, put the hot glue on there. And um, then I accidentally pulled the other one out, if you notice. So, whoops. Oh, well. So I'm going to go ahead and... After I got the hot glue, I'm going to go ahead and re-screw the one and then put the other one in. I'm just lining it up with the holes to make sure that it goes in there correctly. I don't want to make the hole bigger on accident or whatever. Not that it would matter a whole ton. I just decided that um, it would be better if it was... Um, in there just nice and snug in the same holes that it had been in so I, I go ahead and I do that and get that all in there and um, don't forget to check out this um, my description box I'll have my link tree in there as well and it will show all the different tools uh, or at least most of the tools that I do use in there I'm working at getting more if there's not one in there in the comments um, you can um, ask me for the link and I can get it for you. Also, um, don't forget to give me comments. I love them and it helps me um, grow my channel and get it more uh, where it is, where you guys will want it. Now I'm covering those little screws because they were shiny and silver. So I'm covering it up with that gray again just to make sure that it doesn't like, whoa, look at me, I'm a screw sitting there. So then what I'm going to do is I got that pit berry from the Dollar Tree and it's in gold and I'm just going to make a little wreath out of it and I'm only going to go around a couple of times just a simple little wreath so I decide how big I want it and then I go ahead and I want round it around and then I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, wire cutters and I'm going to cut that so that I can uh, twist in the ends so that um, it will stay a wreath. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quick. And then I'm going to uh, figure, look at it and see how big, how much hot glue I'm going to need on there so that I can put it on the, uh, the little mason jar. I'm kind of messing with the little pit berries so that it will um, it'll look good. So now I'm going to put the hot glue down and um, just put it in a circle and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, hook it on there. Also, don't forget to give me a, a like and subscribe to my channel as well as give me the big thumbs up. Um, that helps my channel grow so that I can keep bringing you guys content. Now this is, I'm not sure if it's a violet. It looks like it's a violet. Um, so I'm not completely sure, but it's a little sprig that I've had for years. And I just didn't know what 
never knew what to do with it, so I decided I was going to put it on this jar. It classes up the jar, makes it, make it look more classy, so I'm just going ahead and gluing that down right on top of that um, little uh, wreath that I made. And because it's so bumpy, I have to keep going underneath and adding more uh, glue to it so I could get it exactly the way I want it to look. And it's got little sprigs of uh, pearls that's coming off the top, and I thought that was really cute. So, and this is just a little springy little mason jar that I will hang up um, right at the end of uh, February when Valentine's is over. So, and I'm just, like I said, I'm just making sure it's all secure on there. Um, and I just wanted to let you know, uh, tonight, well, I'm going live tonight. I've got some announcements and unveiling. And so, if you want to check that out here on my, my uh, channel. Now I grab some jute, and I'm just going to glue it on the back as a hanger. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, this little video. It's only one um, craft, but I thought, well, I didn't have any other violets, so I decided that that's what I would uh, go ahead and do today. And that, like I'm showing you, this little mason jar was from the Dollar General, and it was only a dollar and it's really thick and nice, so I went ahead when I saw it, I snagged it up. I probably should have snagged up some more, but they're gone now, so I'll just have to wait for the next season for um, possibly the, for them to have them again. But um, I hope, like I said, I hope you guys really enjoy this, and I hope you guys have a great, blessed day. And please, be the Bible that nobody reads. All right, I said that wrong. Oh, well, blooper time, right? Okay, um, be the Bible. Let somebody read you as if they are reading the Bible. That's the way I wanted to say it. Whew, got that all wrong. Okay, you guys have a great day and enjoy. Bye-bye.